What is going on guys? This is Spade and this is me customizing my S15 Sylvia on the new Need for Speed on PS4. Part of it was already customized because I had played with it earlier. This is basically just me putting the weird designs and shit on the sides of it. And I'm going to use this video to talk about what I think needs to be improved on this game and what I think the game did right. Personally, what I think really needs to be improved on this game is the handling controls. While the, they do give you free reign, free reign when it comes to the tuning aspect, it's not as in depth as I would prefer, and it doesn't yield many different results. So even though I'm on the, if I put everything all the way to grip, I can still do break to drift at times. It's really weird to me, and vice versa. Like if I put it all the way to drift side. The car gets way too squirrely, and sometimes whenever I try to drift, the car won't turn, or it won't initiate. It won't initiate a drift. It'll just brake and then turn. So there's some things where the handling and the controls are super spotty, but the customizations on this game, like, I love it. Like, <laughs> the fact that, first off, I love the S15, and I love this body kit on the S15. And my, my BMW that I have as well, my you can see it in the background, that blue camo uh, M3 GTR. I love that fucking car. But there was a few things on this game that I, that I thought was a little weird because they put some cars in here that you can't customize. You could just soup up. Like, uh, this, unless I haven't unlocked parts for it yet. I'm not sure. But the, the 71 Skyline... And 71 Skyline, there's no uh, body kits for it at all. Like, I would have liked to at least see fender flares for it, just something. Uh, but from what I found, there was none. No, no body kits for the 71 Skyline. And there was a few other cars as well that just didn't have body kits. But you could just soup them up. And that kind of defeats the purpose of this game. Although I know there are some people that don't want to put body kits on their cars. And they just want to actually modify the performance of it and make super sleepers but i like to go balls out and customize the fuck out of this car and since making this car i actually took the little things off the front bumper and just put a keep drifting fun uh sticker right across the front because i just wasn't feeling the stickers on the front it just kind of threw everything all off and another thing when it comes to the drifting on this game it doesn't feel fluid at times Especially since the controls are so spotty a lot of the time. And I can't seem to finally... And I don't mean finally, I mean finally. Like whenever you want to make super minor adjustments to your driving line. Like say if you're going straight and you just want to avoid a car that's in front of you, an upcoming rail. So you just tap the stick or whatever just to try to move over a little bit. It seems that there's enough dead zone built into the game to where that doesn't happen. So you have to put a lot of input on the stick just to get it to move a little bit. So I find myself running into a lot of random shit uh, because of the inability to do that. And that's one thing that bugs me. Another thing that this game can greatly benefit from would be a manual transmission. A game with drifting and tuning, specifically drifting and tuning, as a part of the core piece of the game definitely needs a manual transmission i feel because while i'm drifting in this game a lot of times i find myself move up in gear and that just makes me drop the drift and especially if i don't have that drift stability control on and which is that's dumb drift st the drift stability thing is so retarded it's to make people feel good about themselves <laughs> you know it's like for people that can't drift but want to drift so it just it keeps your car stable while drifting so it it makes it to where it won't shift up and other stuff like that so it's kind of hard to get a proper you know to feel good about the drift you're doing if you have all that stuff on uh but that's just my two cents on the game uh so far i really do enjoy it i love the game it's just uh, the controls get on my nerves at times and definitely manual transmission and also even if the though the map is so big i feel like i run across the same areas quite frequently but that's it for me guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and you'll see another car from me soon later